victory for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as the crowd stands and cheers here in Michigan. Oh my God, I, I, I wish people at home could be here to see these people in the grandstands and to hear them. We're up here in the TV, TV booth and you can hear these people. Junior down the back straightaway and into turn three for the final time. There is going to be a party in Junior Nation tonight. Three by win for Dale, yeah. The streak is over. Dale Earnhardt Jr. back to victory lane in Michigan. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has arrived here with his co-driver Wilson and now a very patriotic salute from the winner of the NBNA, Cal Ripken Jr. Well, Jr. wasn't the most popular even before. He's pretty popular right now <laughs> as these fans stand and cheer here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a tough break for Kyle. He's got a lot of damage there. Let's go back in time and show you what we were talking about. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was leading here with two laps to go. Back in May, Kyle Busch making a run injury under him in turn three. There's the contact. That was late in the race. Clint Boyer able to get by. He ended up winning the race. There's the contact. See the 18 just getting loose on the inside of him there and, and trying to correct it got up into Jr. Now here moments ago, there's the 88 behind the 18, this time entering one. Well, you see Dale Jr. He hit the brakes real hard, locked the left front up. Looks like he tried to stay off of Kyle in that particular instant. Yeah, and you had the 18 coming down to make his entrance into the corner. I'm not sure that he really thought Jr. was up that far. I know that looked like a payback, but it looked like just hard racing to me. All Kyle Bush knows is he got hit and he wrecked his car. Let's check out our All-State good. Denny Hamlin made the move. Ryan Blaney in the 21 pays the price. And now they're all double wide behind the front four. Well, here they come down the stretch. One to go. White flag. Martin Truex on the outside. Menard's coming with him. They'll never make it back. And Denny Hamlin They'll goes up there. We got back. one all the way on the apron spinning. Carl Edwards. Big wreck. Big wreck. Keep nope. No and now there's the wreck. Back. Big wreck. Three Big cars wreck. hard in the wall. Big wreck. Big wreck. Casey Keep Mears, coming. Ricky Stenhouse, Walk Jeff Gordon back. around. Watch your, watch your Here mirror. come the leaders. We're still green. No still green. Come on, boys. Bring it to the house. Menard to the bottom with Blaney. Bottom. Junior trying to hold everybody off. Come on, Blaney. You got one more shot. You can do it. Earnhardt, Johnson, Menard, Blaney. Double wide behind them. Four cars to settle it. Earnhardt trying to cover all spots. Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> Checkered flag at Talladega. Johnson second, Menard third, Blaney, Truex the top five. And one car in the wall coming to the line way up in the dust. That was Stenhouse, who's wiped the whole right side off his car on the final lap. Oh, Junebug, nice job, brother. I'd say Junior Nation's going to party like it's 1999. Johnson coming on the outside with Sorensen and Mears. Watch that outside, watch the outside, predict the bottom. Now is that yellow line your best friend? It is now, it is now. Because you can't pass below it, but that outside line, they're getting a run. Here comes Johnson to the high side. And Earnhardt comes up to block. That opens the bottom for Stewart. 
And the 30th Budweiser shootout goes to the M National Guard and Pal of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yes, sir. a great finish. That was a great race. Hey, yes, on. it was. I, yes, I it you. was. Folks, bad mouth this car all you want to, but we got ourselves a race car. Yes, sir. And that's race car spelled forward or backwards. Hey, good job. Jr. trying to win the Daytona 500 yet again. Brad Keselowski for Roger Penske trying to give the captain his second victory. And remember, it was Dale Jr. who gave Keselowski his big break to drive Jr.'s car in the Nationwide Series. Now right behind them, Jeff Gordon, the 24. Kyle Busch in the 18 coming from one lap down. Carl Edwards and Denny Hamlin. Jimmy Johnson and Ricky Stenhouse. Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick are the top ten. And wins this year count more than ever. You win it, you might be in the chase. It might be the win you need, and it's a chance to get one right here. Kelly Earnhardt Miller, Dale Jr. sister looking on, and here we go. Green flag, two laps. Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets to that restart box, and he is gone. Yeah, that car is, I mean, it takes off. Now, he definitely doesn't want to get too far out. We know that's not good. And he is making a pretty good gap here. Here Kurt comes Kosh. the two. Brad Keselowski on the outside. Got a little bit of help from behind. Gaining on the leader. Junior comes up to cover. Jeff Gordon now leading the inside row. Unless Keselowski or Bush or Denny Hamlin in the 11 drops down. It's Hamlin. What a move by Hamlin. Now if we get back to the white flag, we have a race. Look at Stenhouse in that 17 in the middle, back and forth. And Boy, back he and just forth. shoved Kyle Busch right out of the way. Ricky Stenhouse in the 17 to third place. White flag with Stenhouse up in position to challenge in that blue four. You know what, Larry? I believe that tape's going to stay on there, and that baby's going to come home a winner. Denny Hamlin has not lost a race this week. He's number 11. Keslowski, the 2012 champ, battling back to the top. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Pied Piper of Daytona, trying to hold them all at bay. And Kyle Busch was trying to make a third line at the top of the racetrack. Boy, here they come. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've seen a lot of passes off turn four than a start finish line, but that 88 is pulling away. Less than a mile to go. Oh, we got a break. Third generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr., brings him to the black checkered flag, waving. It's over. It's Earnhardt. <laughs> Good job, June Bug. Woo! Reed Sorensen's race ends up in a crash. Harvick into the wall past the end of Pit Road. And Carl Edwards, 99, all torn up. Here comes Kyle Busch backwards across the start finish line. Factor across. Now, the caution flag wave before Earnhardt took the checkered flag. Officially, the race ends under yellow. NASCAR will review all. I cannot all. believe it. <laughs> Unbelievable. They'll review all photographic and video evidence. It'll be a while before we have an order of finish. Reed Sorensen is okay. Carl Edwards moving around in his car. The Pied Piper. 
leads them around for the final lap. And, and then how can you take some bad luck? Get something on your grill with three laps to go. A piece of tape. You couldn't come down pit road and put a piece of tape on there and do any better. The black number three returned to Daytona this week. Not that big piece of black tape. <laughs> Remember, in the offseason, his crew chief, Steve Letarte, said to Dale Jr., this is our final season together. Let's make it memorable. They already have. It's awesome, dude. I can't quit watching you right now. Steve Letarte, his crew chief. A champion of the Daytona 500. I've said it, and I've said it, I've said it. Those two guys are going to do a lot of good things this year together because they, they know what it means. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. has gone winless in four of the last five years. You won't be able to say that about 2014. Or keep counting his runner-up finishes in the 500. Because that, that 88 car, victory though, lane. That thing could get out front, and he could just go from one side to the other. I mean, it, it, he was just had a fast car at the end of the day. I believe Dale Earnhardt Jr. has got a little... Celebration planned here. See what he's going to do. He, not a whole lot he can do right now. The whole front straightaway is full of wrecked cars. He is saluting the fans and coming all the way down the front stretch, reminiscent of when Alan Kowicki won his first Cup race and did a self-styled. As Kowicki called it, Polish victory lap. It's the wrong way around, but it puts your face right in front of the fans where he can look them in the eye and hear them cheer. You know what I love? I mean, to see Dale Jr. that excited, to see him just pumped, man, about winning that race, and he should be, but look at him. He's like a little kid in there. Yeah, I don't Enjoying know I've ever never minute seen of. him that pumped up. No, I haven't either, Larry. It's just so good. Look at him. He's going to jump out of that thing. He'll be up on the side of the door there in a minute like his dad used to do. And he's about to be a 40-year-old little kid. But I guess there's a little kid in all of us, Carol, especially when you win the 500. I never think about him being old. I still think about him being June Bug. 11-time NASCAR's most popular driver, and that is voted by the fans. <laughs> and Dale Jr. captures the flag at the start-finish line. They're going to have some kind of celebration back at the old Hendrick Motorsports shop, probably over at Whiskey River, have a little uh, special night or something. This could be big. And Phoenix better put more grants to Car owner Rick Hendrick headed for Victory Lane yet again. He won last year with Jimmy Johnson. He wins this year with Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> <laughs> On the way. I don't think Dale needs all anybody. Right, get all the gears. Seven hey, laps off. left. Now it'll be six as they come to the start finish line. Time to settle the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Fly, is sixth in line and Benson leads on the restart. Once again, you can't pass on the inside. You get to that line. All right, free game. Let's go. 
Ward Burton quickly down to the inside to try and grab a spot. See Jeff Gordon back on the racetrack. Bernard Jr. lying back, trying to get him to run. He has that run, but Tony Stewart pulls up in front of him. He's got that Jeremy Mayfield. He's, he's, he's got time, I guess. Schrader pushed to the outside lane. Look at still Junior there, go. There, Up clear, to fourth. Clear. Here comes Bobby Labonte pushing through. Junior to the outside of Mayfield for third. Seven's coming with you. Seven's coming. Seven's Mike coming Wallace with is you. coming with him. We can hear Ty Norris telling him. You got help on the outside, Junior. There's Blaney Block in the 93. And what about Benson? They're going to stay on the bottom of the racetrack. I think they're going to give the outside to Junior. Jeff Gordon getting black flag by NASCAR. There, Here's Dale there. Jr. to the outside of Dave Blaney for second spot. Mayfield pushes him along in the draft. Still there, still there. To the outside for the lead in turn four. Still Dale Earnhardt Jr. rockets to the front still at Daytona. There. Listen to the crowd. And look at this crowd still behind him. Look at this still race still behind him. Tony Stewart gets thrown underneath the yellow line. Stewart will be black flagged by NASCAR. Okay. Black flag for Tony Stewart for going below the out of bounds line. You're all clear, you're all clear. And Tony Stewart is in second spot with a million dollars on the line. Okay, Tony's coming, but you're all clear, all clear. Here comes Bobby Labonte. He's got a million dollars on the line as well. It's Michael Walter who's pushing him toward the front. And Labonte's underneath the yellow line on the back stretch. This thing's not over yet. Michael Walter trying to become the first man to sweep a season at Daytona since 1982. He's up to third. 18-15 behind you. Three laps to go. Ward Burton dives low. three-quarter funnel, all that ended because he's running wide open right now. Ward Burton rocketing toward the front. Look at him on the outside. You. Outside of Michael Walter for third. Here's Elliot Sadler up to fifth. Where'd he come from in the Wood Brothers car? He's me. Frantic, intense racing in the final laps at Daytona. But it's still Dale Earnhardt Jr. out in front. They've got to take the win away from him. Tony Urey Jr. is clapping, saying, come on, Jr., come on. Two to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to block, trying to keep those cars behind him. Desperately trying to keep them behind him. He runs so good through the corner, he lets them get a run on him down the straightaway. Second, Elliot Sadler and Rusty Wallace with him. Now, two team cars race in the one and two positions. That's who Dale needs to see in his rearview mirror right now. That's the best thing he can see. Will Michael Walter block for Dale Jr.? Will he try to win the race himself? White flag is out. Final lap at Daytona. 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly. Two and a half miles to go. Just exactly the opposite of the Daytona 500. It was 15 and 8. Elliot Sadler is trying to keep Bobby Labonte behind. He can't do it. But he does move down in front of Rusty Wallace on that fast line. some help trying to get up there his teammate Tony Stewart has never answered the black flag and they're four wide back between the Wallace boys here they come turn four final lap of the Pepsi 400 Michael Walter in second but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400 Yes. Man, you did it, boy. Yes. You guys celebrate. Love you, man. You did it. That was beautiful. Very, very nice. 
see that. Sentimental favorite, emotional favorite. Earlier in the broadcast, we talk among ourselves some of the moves he made on the track today. Looked like his father behind the wheel. I am speechless. Cheers. Snyder's on pit road with Tony Urey, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief. And you wouldn't believe the emotion, the tears out here for Dale Earnhardt Jr. If that wasn't like the old man, I don't know what was, Tony Sr. Hey, he had a good teacher. He, uh, he told him a lot about this place. He loved this place. Hell, listen to them fans up there. They love that kid to death. I saw you look to the heavens with a few laps to go. What did you say? Well, he said he knew he could beat him. We just didn't know what was going to happen. Remember when we've seen this before? <laughs> and Steve Mills joining the fray now. Yeah, man, Diaz tough. Diaz tough. We can celebrate. What a finish at Daytona. Dell Jr. on top of the car in the infield. The 1998 Daytona 500, when his father finally won the Great American Race. He threw the car into the grass doing victory donuts. Everybody joining in the celebration. That's Chocolate Myers, longtime crewman for Dale at Richard Childress Racing. Six to first in the final six laps. Mikey, you celebrate too. You never got to celebrate your win in February. You celebrate now. Man, that's just so cool. Storybook ending. Oh, this is great. 